Hi everyone, Flaming Footy here and welcome or welcome back to another YouTube video on the channel and today guys here we are for the long awaited Flaming Footy 200 subscriber Q&A. So I know we have hit 200 subscribers, we actually hit 200 subscribers a fair way ago, we're at 235 at the current time that I'm recording this so um, I've decided to knuckle it down. Now I did say the 27th or 28th of um may is the time i thought the 27th and 28th was a saturday and a sunday so so i'm sorry about about that but it's um 28th or 29th which i'm assuming this will be premiered on the 29th i believe which is the sunday so sorry for that little inconvenience um but yeah that's that's all good um we all make mistakes so anyway today is a 200 subscriber q a so i've just gathered the questions that we've had uh, we didn't get overly a lot, but again, I don't really want to be sitting here for an hour going over all the questions, so it's probably great that we don't get too many anyway. Um, but yeah, we're just going to be going over the questions, and um, yeah, you guys can feel free to ask me questions in the comment section at any time anyway, so uh, yeah. But anyway, let's not waste too much time. Let's go ahead and kickstart this 200 subscriber special Q&A. So the first question is going to be from Shannon Humphreys. Who is your favourite player from West Coast Eagles? So uh, my favourite player from the West Coast Eagles, I have to have a little bit of a think about this, but I am quite a fan of um, of um, Luke Shuey. I like Luke Shuey in the middle. Um, he's, he's, a, he's, he's a brilliant player, so I reckon I'm happy to say Luke Shuey will be my favourite player from West Coast. Now, the next question is, why did you decide on the name Flaming Footy? Now, if you guys have been here since about 100, well, since the start of my YouTube channel, up until about 150, um, you guys would have known that my previous name was Fire Plays. Um, and I, I changed it to Flaming Footy just because it, it represented what I was doing more. I wanted to be a football YouTube channel. Uh, and I wanted to change my name to Flaming Footy. The name was free on YouTube, so I, I pounced on it. I spent uh, about... Well, two weeks making the thumb like my little channel icon and profile picture uh, and banner it was uh, a, a long process but I, I definitely do think it was definitely worth it in the end to change my name to flaming footy and it's, it's just fantastic I, I love the name flaming footy I've, I'm, I'm so happy with this name now Jack Obramski I hope that's how you, you say the name I, I'm not quite entirely sure pronunciations I'm not great with pronunciations so please just bear with me uh, but am I an Adelaide Crows member no I'm not an Adelaide Crows member right now now that's that's probably something I'm looking that, I'm, that I may be looking into in the next few years or something like that perhaps is to become a member um, and also it is definitely more worth it especially when you do see your team uh, climb a little bit more up the ladder than where we are right now uh, our performances have been pretty dismal so far this year but again I'm looking yeah I'm, I'm looking to be, become a member in maybe a few years when like um yeah when we might just be a little bit better than what we are now um but yeah maybe in a few years but the current answer is a no now the next question is again from Shannon Humphreys and who is your favorite Richmond Tiger who is your favorite player from Richmond Tigers now um I don't know with this one. I'll, I'll try and just think of it on the spot. Um, I don't pre. I don't like um script these or anything. These are not script. This is like my actual live reaction. Um, Richmond. Now I do want to say. Um, I'm gonna say I do like Dusty, but I think that's a little bit too obvious. I love Dusty, but I'm gonna say someone else. Uh, to make it a little bit more interesting, I am quite a fan of um Shay Bolton as well. I do like uh, Shy Shay Shy. I think it's Shay Bolton. Um, so Shay Bolton is who I'm going to say for that one. But again, Dusty, he's also fantastic as well. Now on to record trades. What team do you go for now? Um, I go for the Adelaide Crows. They are my favourite team. Um, and I'll make a video about my favourite, like my full list of favourite teams uh, to see where your team sits on my ranking. But um, yeah, what team do I go for? I go for the Adelaide Crows. Been a proud supporter since 20, 2017. So I've been supporting them for five years now. Um, so, yeah, we get, we're getting there. We are getting there. Um, but, yeah, I, I started watching footy in um, 2016. No, 2017, sorry. Uh, but, yeah, I started watching footy in 2017, and that's when I became a co supporter in 2017. They were the first Adelaide team that I saw play, and there's your little backstory for it as well. Now to Footy Grape, who do you think will win the Premiership this year? So, 
unfortunately enough, this is a, a bit of a one-sided question. Um, again, this is like a little mid-season prediction kind of thing that I'm saying. Uh, now, I, I do think like there's contenders like your Brisbane, your Geelong that will contend. But unfortunately enough, again, I just think this year Melbourne are just so good that I just don't think any team can really get close to competing with them. So I'm saying Melbourne on that one. Um, and yeah, Melbourne, they've just been the best in the competition. Uh, by a fair way so I'm saying Melbourne to go back to back and if any team manages to upset them and they don't win the granny I will say that I will be well quite decently surprised to be completely honest all right now this question is from a lion heart now we're sticking with favorite players which I, I've seen that's come up quite a fair bit in this Q&A which is quite funny uh but yeah who is sorry for the late comment who is your favorite Brisbane Lions player now um there's actually plenty of players from Brisbane that I could pick like Lockie Neal, Hugh McCluggage um, kind of them kinds of players. But the one that I've picked for this one is uh, Charlie Cameron. I, I do like Charlie Cameron. Um, he's my favourite from Brisbane. Um, love him, love the work that he does. Uh, I believe Charlie Cameron is also on your front cover. So I'll ask you the question now, the Lionheart. Is, you, is your favourite player Charlie Cameron or um, is it not? So you have to you have to answer that and we'll see if we've got the same. But yeah, uh, yeah, Charlie Cameron for me, I just love what he does and um yeah, funny that it's your profile picture as well. So yeah, you have to get back to me on that one. Sticking with the trend of who is your favourite player? Who is your favourite player from Hawthorne? Um, favourite player from Hawthorne. Um, I like lots of players, but I reckon my favourite has to be key forward Tom, uh, not Tom, Mitch Lewis. Uh, I, I love him. He's a, he's a brilliant player, um, a developing key forward who I reckon has got plenty uh, of to come um, for me. So I, he's my favourite from Hawthorne. There's others like Tom Mitchell, Jago Amira that also do go up there. But again, I'm trying to do a little bit different from just the regular oh, Tom Mitchell or, or oh, Dusty Martin. Um, so yeah, Mitch Lewis, I do love him as a player. So I'm saying Mitch Lewis. Now we'll stick with Hawthorne Hawks fan forever. Uh, you'll get two questions in a row. What's your favourite grand final? Now I'm going to Divide up into two parts. Now, favourite grand final is obviously when the Crows won. Um, that's just fantastic. But we're going to go to the favourite grand final that I've watched. So I did thoroughly enjoy the um, 2016 because that was the first game footy I watched was the 2016 grand final. Um, and that was between the Western Bulldogs and Sydney. And I, I thoroughly enjoyed that grand final. It was a good one. Uh, now, West Coast Collingwood in 2018 was also good. Uh, sorry for you Collingwood supporters out there who lost. But I just think because it was a close game, it was a great grand final. You don't often see that. Uh, and there were some other good grand finals as well, but, like, I wasn't watching at the time. So I'm saying West Coast Collingwood for the one that I've watched. But for my favourite grand final, it'll be, yep, the two when the Crows won. And, um, yep, that, that's kind of my answer for that. So, yeah, uh, favourite grand final, when, the two when the Crows won. But the one that I've watched would have been, um, for sure, West Coast Collingwood. And then Bulldog Swans closely followed it. Now, the next question is, who are some of your favourite AFL players? Now, I could be here for a long time naming them, but I'll just go over probably top five. Uh, love Benny Keys from the Adelaide Crows. Um, I'm going to go, I reckon I'm going to be going Bailey Smith from the Western Bulldogs. I, I do like him as well. Bonson Pelly's also in there. Dusty um, as well. Um, Boak, Travis Boak from Port Adelaide. Rosie. Um, yeah, I, 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 I kind of needed to plan out this question, but yeah, uh, maybe it's another video to make my favourite AFL player from each uh, club, maybe. That could be a video idea. But yeah, some of my favourite AFL players from my team, we'll go over my team, they're like Ben Keys, Rory Sloan, um, and then like Rory Laird, uh, Taylor Walker, Joshua Shelley, Jordan Butts. Jordan Dawson, Tom Duda, those are just some of my favourite from the Adelaide Crows. So that's kind of what I'll uh, count the questions. Who are some of your favourite AFL players? Uh, it's too hard to go AFL, so I just went my team. Who is my favourite AFL player? Now, that is really tough. That is a really tough question. Uh, my favourite AFL player. Look, I'm going to go Crows because I think uh, it's just perfect for them to be in my team. And I'm saying Ben Keys is my favourite Adelaide Crows player. AFL player, I've really got no idea. That is a hard question. But, yeah, I'll say Ben Keys for now. Um, that's that's what I'm saying for that question. That was a tough question. That is a good question as well. Uh, but, yeah, very tough for that one. But, yeah, I'm saying Ben Keys from the Adelaide Crows is my favourite AFL player. All right, time so for Shannon Humphrey's final question. Who is your favourite player from Port Adelaide? Um... 
Uh, I reckon I'm going to go Travis Boak. I reckon, I reckon I'm going to go Travis Boak. I like Travis Boak. Uh, he's still inspiring at the age that he is. He's a, he's a fantastic player. Um, he may not be at his 100% best, uh, of course, as he's aging, but, like, he's still very good, uh, is Travis Boak, and, um, yeah, fantastic. So, yeah, the, I'm going to say Travis Boak from Port Adelaide, the uh, opposing Adelaide team. Now on to Fiona Brink's last question. What AFL ground slash stadium is your favourite? Hmm, I reckon we'll go, I reckon... I, I'm going to say I love the MCG. Look, the MCG is probably my favourite, right? Uh, the MCG is my favourite. The sec- My second favourite is Marvel. I love the roof mechanic. That just is fantastic. Third favourite, Adelaide Oval. Fourth favourite, Optus. And then uh, SCG, fifth, Gabba, sixth, Metricon Stadium, seventh. Um, yeah, I've made a list now. I've made a list. But, yeah, my favourite is the MCG, then Marvel. And then top three coming in in third is the Adelaide Oval. So that is my uh, top three AFL stadiums. But uh, the AFL stadium that is my favourite is, um, yeah, for sure, the MCG. Uh, closely followed by Marvel, though, however. So it's not like it was a big winner. But, yeah, there, there you have it. Now, the Lionheart asks, can you do an AFL career mode but Adelaide Crows and a team like North Melbourne Eagles or GWS? Now, I will answer this question. Now, I'll give this is a little bit of an insight. Now, I wasn't really meant to, I wasn't really going to tell anyone this, but when the rebuild series ends, so I've got no idea when that is. Um, I'm hoping not to cut it short like last year, but if we're getting to it, like, I'm going to really try my best not to cut it short like last year, but I'm, I don't think I'm going to be doing anything like the rebuilds again. Um, so that does, when that ends, that does open up an opportunity to do a team, like, to do something like this, um, like, do two coach cremos like I was doing last year. I was doing that last year. So you guys can let me know if you'd, like, rather see the rebuild series or a coach career mode and, um, yeah. And then I can try and work that one out and see, like, how we're going. So, like, if you guys would prefer another coach career mode over the rebuilds, then I might end a rebuild, the, the, the rebuild series. Um, but, yeah, I'm not sure with that. I'm going to try. I reckon I'm going to keep the rebuild series going this year uh, and just see how that goes, compare it up with last year. Uh, and then probably, yeah, maybe something for next year would be something like a two-coach cream or something like that. But can I do an AFL coach cream mode? But, like, of course I'll be doing the Adelaide Crows one yearly. That's something that I'm going to try and do. Uh, and a team like North Melbourne Eagles or GWS. Uh, that's probably something for next year. But I may get to do it at the end of the year. But I'm not sure if it's really worth doing it for just a few weeks. So we'll wait and see how we're going uh, at the end of the year when the rebuild series is done. Um, and probably something for next year is that, but that's a good idea, and that is something that, I'm, that I'll probably do next year uh, when the rebuild series is done, because I think this is going to be the only year where we're going to get a full one in, and it'll probably be done after that. So, yeah, uh, there you have it. The rebuild series has been good this year, though, but, yeah, I think next year we'll experiment with um, an, an extra coach cream mode a week and see where we go from there. But, anyway, um, yeah, this is a good question, and this is something that I do actually want to do, so... We'll be able to do that next year, probably. And now we will finish it off with a question, which is from Jack Obramski. And I believe he started the Q&A as well. I'm not sure who started it, but I think he might have. And uh, the final question is, how long have you done YouTube? So I have done YouTube. The, the day I joined was December 19, 2020. It wasn't the best sort of time to join, but I did join and... um been loving it ever since I joined from the day I joined I've loved it um I have changed I was doing gaming to start off with then I've moved to AFL and I'm loving doing AFL in in the best place possible so um yeah that that's that um but yeah I've, I've been December 19 this year will mark two years on the channel which is a nice little mini achievement there in itself um, so hopefully we can try and push for 300 subscribers before we hit twos on the channel. That'd be something fantastic. Uh, but yeah, there is the question answered. So there we have it. That is a 200 subscriber special Q and A all wrapped up. Um, so we're almost at 250 subscribers. Not sure we're going to do anything for 250 subscribers, but, uh, yeah, there we go. So that is another 
uh, subscriber milestone all done and dusted on the channel. We've passed 200 and now pretty much we're on the march for um, 250 before hopefully getting to 300 by the end of the year. That's my goal that I kind of have for the channel. Uh, but yeah, we've risen in the AFL seasons. Let's just keep on rising as a community. Um, so that is the 200 subscriber special, all done and dusted. It actually went for the same length as last year. Last year went for about six and a half minutes. So we're going to try and end it before then. But what a ripper this one was. Uh, feel free to ask me some questions in the comments at any time. Just don't overload. Like, you can ask me, like, one question or something per video. If you want to ask me some extra questions, you can go ahead and do so. Uh, just make sure that they're not personal. So... That is going to wrap up the 200 subscribers special. We've hit 200 subscribers. We've done it. Um, and, yeah, if you've tuned into the premiere, which this is hopefully a premiere, thank you guys for watching. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Then you guys will never miss another video on the channel. Thank you guys all so much for watching. So bye, everyone. Flaming footy out.